Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the uses of electromagnetic waves and if you're a higher tier student then you need to be able to explain why each type of electromagnetic wave is suitable for its uses. Now I should point out that electromagnetic waves have got hundreds of uses. The ones I'm showing you in this video are directly stated in the specification so you need to learn these specific examples. We're going to start with radio waves. Radio waves are used to transmit both radio signals and terrestrial TV signals. Remember that terrestrial TV is not satellite or cable TV. Terrestrial TV is received using an aerial, for example Freeview. Now radio waves are used because they can travel long distances before being absorbed, for example by buildings and trees. Longer wavelength radio waves can also spread out between hills and that's called diffraction. I should point out that the word diffraction is not on your specification. Radio waves can also reflect off a layer of charged particles in the atmosphere, and that's called the ionosphere. This allows us to send radio waves very long distances around the Earth. OK, let's look at microwaves. Firstly, microwaves are used for heating food. That's because most foods contain a lot of water molecules, and water molecules absorb the energy of microwaves. The energy causes the temperature of the food to increase. Secondly, microwaves are used to communicate with satellites in space, and that's because microwaves can pass through the Earth's atmosphere without being reflected or refracted. OK, we're going to look now at infrared. Infrared is emitted by electrical heaters, and it's also used to cook food in ovens. That's because the energy of infrared is easily absorbed by the surface of objects. For example, the infrared from a heater is absorbed by objects in the room, and this makes the room warmer. Infrared is also used in infrared cameras, for example to check buildings for heat losses. Let's look now at visible light. A really important use of visible light is communication using fiber optics. I'm showing you here a bunch of optical fibers. Optical fibers are very thin strands of glass. We can transmit pulses of light down these fibers and use these pulses to carry information. Optical fibers are used to carry telephone and cable TV signals. Now because visible light has a short wavelength, it can carry a great deal of information. OK, the next electromagnetic wave is ultraviolet. Now a really important use of ultraviolet is an energy efficient light bulb such as this one. Ultraviolet light is created inside the bulb. Now because ultraviolet has a short wavelength, it carries more energy than visible light. The energy of the ultraviolet is absorbed by the internal surface of the bulb and it's converted to visible light. This requires much less energy than a normal light bulb. Another use of ultraviolet is in sun tanning, for example using a tanning bed such as this one. However, remember that ultraviolet increases the risk of skin cancer and it causes premature skin aging. OK, let's finish now by looking at X-rays and gamma rays. Both X-rays and gamma rays are used for medical imaging. For example, X-rays can be used to visualize broken bones. Gamma rays are used to detect cancers, and we saw that in the videos on radioactivity. Both X-rays and gamma rays are very penetrative. In other words, they can pass easily through body tissue. However, X-rays are absorbed by bones, which is why we can see them on X-ray images. Both X-rays and gamma rays can also be used in medical treatments for example to treat cancer. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the uses of the electromagnetic spectrum in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.